a legendary entertainer. But off stage, she's also a working mother, raising five kids of her own, ages 3 to 20. We do have a responsibility, and this is very personal to me. I know I wasn't chosen for a personal interest, but children is a very personal uh, interest for me. Mm. It always has been, really, since I started having my own children, and maybe even before. As a performer and parent, Diana Ross says she has to pay attention to what kids want. What she is hearing is that many young people today are deeply discouraged. It's real hard for kids growing up in, in difficult situations for them to feel uh, that they have an opportunity to somehow make a difference in their lives. Drugs, poverty, peer pressure, everyday stresses are taking a toll. One out of every four children under the age of six are living in poverty. Up to one half of inner city students become dropouts. One out of five teenage girls becomes pregnant. National Children's Day is set aside to focus on America's young people, their hopes and dreams. Do you think that the most important aspect of uh, growing up and being successful is just having a belief and confidence in yourself? Or? Uh, well, it might even be a step before that. The only way a kid can have belief and confidence in themselves is for someone to nurture them from the beginning, to make them feel as if they're important. To me, uh, the bonding begins at birth. I've been Diana Ross became famous with the Supremes, and though there have been ups and downs since, she's managed to stay in the spotlight for over a quarter of a century. I've been singing now. It's uh, actually getting close to 30. This is about 28. Really? I had my first record out, and... Um, 1962. But even before she became a star, Diana Ross struggled to be somebody. Well, we started off, Brewster, uh, started off on the east side of Detroit. We moved to the Brewster Projects, which was a great thing for us to be. Everybody wanted a project. Really? My mother wanted that because you could have our own house and our own, you know, not be living in an apartment building. Today, Diana Ross says she wants to repay some of that community support. She has given money to build a playground in New York's Central Park. I had hard-working parents who really tried to provide for us and give us a, a good nurturing environment. So it wasn't as difficult for me as I have seen as I've been traveling. Diana Ross recently visited Washington to testify before Congress about the special needs of young Americans. We can guarantee that they have food to eat and we can guarantee that they have proper housing. And we about 40 young people were invited to Washington to talk about their troubles and programs that work. Members of Congress listened. I wonder whether or not you feel that there's a real sense of helplessness and hopelessness and that young people's sense of self-esteem is just very, very low. Do you think that's true? When my dad came home from prison, um, he abused us and was, we had to adapt through that and I, I really didn't feel like I was worthy of living anymore. I don't know what, what it's like really to have a dad or, and when I was younger I used to be afraid of people. And uh, I don't know, I just thought people would just make fun of me all the time. It's, ve it's very sad how so many people are giving in to cliques and not going along with their personal beliefs and going against what they know is right, just so they won't be shoved off anymore. Basically, I want to teach my children that I love them and that they should love themselves for who they are and that education is always first, next to love. These young people have overcome tremendous handicaps at home and in school. In each case, a youth-oriented program in their community has made the difference. Diana Ross believes the government can do more to help, but so can every adult. There's only one Diana Ross. Not everybody is going to be a superstar. But by making time for kids, Diana Ross is not just taking for herself, but giving something back to our country. It's a lesson we can all learn for the sake of America's future. We talk about love, love.